Hey, yo, what's up, man? It's your boy, Hip Hop Gamer, and I got a nice review for you guys of the TED movie that came out June 29th. Now, I seen this movie, uh, I would say, maybe like a week or a week or two before um, it actually came out, and I just, I couldn't wait for it to come out because I wanted you guys to experience what I experienced because the joint is mad funny. It's like an instant classic in terms of the work. You know, behind Seth MacFarlane and his team, like it's it's real crazy. So the first thing I want to get into in terms of the movie is the actual dialogue. Now the dialogue in this movie is so hot because you know, if you're a fan of Family Guy, you know sometimes they go overboard. And what I love about this movie is that they remain the same. You know what I'm saying? They still went overboard. You know, even with the crossover from cartoon to, you know, a movie movie, you know what I'm saying? So the dialogue was so crazy and the actors, they played their role so well because it's the same team behind the family guy. So to see them in a new light, yet still be themselves, that's hard to do and they nailed it, you know what I'm saying? So that right there was crazy and I'm just blown away by the dialogue, like I just... Like, oh, the script, like, the jokes, the timing of the jokes, what was said at the prop, it was like, everything that was said was said right on time at the best moments of the movie. It was just, it, it, you know, it, it was like a marriage, you know what I'm saying? It's like, it's like how Jordan on the Bulls, you know what I'm saying? It's like, there's certain people that's right for certain teams and brands and stuff. And the dialogue in this movie, with the concept of the movie, you know, with the whole teddy bear thing, it was just so flawless, so flawlessly done, yo. So, big congratulations to the team for that. It was crazy, you're gonna love it, I'm telling you. So, that's the first thing. The second thing is this, and this is, this is very important, but you will be surprised at how cool Seth MacFarlane and the team made it for teddy bears and adults to, like, Okay. Have that bond, like you know what I'm saying? Because you know, when you're a kid and you got Teddy Bears and Wrestling Man and stuff like that, obviously that's for when you're a kid. But because the way the movie was designed and the concept behind it, in terms of Ted being a kid and growing up, just like Mark War Warburg was the kid growing up, it's like the Teddy Bear grew up together, came to life, and stuff like that. So, since Ted is so cool. And I know you see all the Facebook posts and everything on Twitter, everything that's going on. You know, one of the things that was so funny was he ain't got no fingers. So he said something like, you know, if you can count my fingers, that means I give a, you know, give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? Give a F. I'm trying not to curse that much. You know what I'm saying? But because he ain't got no fingers, that means he don't give a F. Like, it was just so sick the way he was doing the whole social media thing. And it made you, it made you believe that Ted was really real. Simply because the way his personality is and people that's fans of Family Guy being used to the old Peter Griffin, you know, character, all of that lives through Ted. So that right there is crazy and, you know, it made it cool for an adult to, like, you know, bond with a, like, teddy bear, even though the character's like that. It was just so cool how they got that message across without it being whack, without it being cheesy, you know what I'm saying? So that was crazy. The next thing I want to say, and I think this is very important as well, is that even though the highlight of the movie is about Ted, about the band, you know, how you go from a little kid and growing up and being gangster and talking all, and talking all this trash, like, and making these jokes, there, there's such a deep, deep, deep lesson learned in this movie. And, you know, I'm not going to tell you the lesson. I'm not going to spoil it, you know. But the deep lesson is like, like I said, I'm not going to spoil you anything. I'm not going to tell you the movie. I'm going to tell you what happened. But I will say this. Do, have you ever met someone or do you know someone that, you know, blame everybody else for their mistakes? You know what I'm saying? Like, always got an excuse for something. It's like, there's something that you're going to learn in this movie that that will teach someone that goes through those type of, uh, goes, goes through that type of routine. And I know everybody got, got a person in their life, family member, whatever, that blames everybody else for their own shortcomings or whatever. This movie is hot. This movie is deep. I promise you, yo. It's funny, it's real, there's a lesson to be learned, the dialogue, everything as a composition, this movie hits it on the head on such a high level. It surprised me big time. It surprised me big time. So, the next thing I want to talk about, and this right here is pretty cool, is the way 
the, the transition from cartoon to big screen. See, it's one thing when you you're doing cartoons and you're doing voiceovers and you're sitting down reading, you know, off the notepad and trying to, you know, say your lines and do it in a certain way. But now you got these same characters that you know and love on screen, engaged, just like how they do behind the scenes when they're only doing voiceovers for Family Guy. So not only do you get a chance to see that talent come to life, because now you can see it, like, you know, visually, but now you get to see how, what it would be like if the actual TV show Family Guy was in, I guess, human form and not cartoon form. It takes a lot to tra take that energy and bring it to the big screen the way they did and still maintaining a cartoon effect because of the fiction of the Ted Bear. It, yo, I, I'm telling you, like, the movie is so fire. So, and let me tell you something, just to let you know. From start to finish, like, from the very, the opening credits is hilarious. And is, yo, this movie, I'm from the opening credits is hilarious. All the way down to the last scene, last word, last moment of the movie. And that's another thing that I like because in terms of the story, it was so consistent, mixed with the funny, you know, you know, mixed with the funniness and the jokes and everything like that, and the action and the sad times and the, yo, know, it, it's just it takes you to so many levels while still maintaining the meat of the story and what they're trying to come across. Yo, genius, straight up genius, son. This movie is gangster. Go see it. June 29th is coming past. Go see this movie for real. Like, is is that is that hot? So, the next thing I want to say is, and this is basically to end it off. But the most unique thing about this movie is the fact that Ted wasn't hidden as a character. Like, you know, you got like a lot of movies where if a bear came to life, you know. You would try to hide that from the public and the society because they probably think you're crazy. They, you know, they probably want to, you know, like arrest you or do some studies and all this other crazy stuff. But in this movie, they allowed Ted to be Ted. And even though he was a talking bear, he was a part of the world. Like, he's a part of the population. You know what I'm saying? Like, in the, in the trailer, when you see him, you know, squeezing the girl titty. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know... It wasn't like no mysterious thing happened and she didn't know what was going on. Ted is real, like a real person. He went to get a job and everything. Like, yo, it's, yo, the joint is fly, yo. It's crazy. So I just want to say one love, God bless your boy, Hip Hop Gamer. If you ain't seen Ted yet, I don't know what you're doing, but you need to get on your job, go see that movie. The joint is funny, it's hilarious, and Seth McFarlane and the team, salute. You guys did a hell of a job. It's your boy, Hip Hop Gamer. One love, and you know what? I'm out.